So, Sonic Frontiers. We finally got the true announcement, in my opinion, of this game. Because we had the little 30 second clip of Sonic running through the forest way back then. But that was not sufficient enough to tell us anything about the game. And now we finally get a more proper reveal of Sonic Frontiers. And yeah, no longer called Rangers, even though we knew about this for quite a while. And the reveal itself did not really showcase much about the game. We got to see a CGI trailer of Sonic running through a forest, getting chased by something, who knows what. And then we see shots, cinematic shots of the world and how massive it is and how really good looking and just how good the graphics are. And that was the main focus of this trailer, I guess was just to showcase and tell everybody, hey, the next Sonic game is open world. And then we see, you know, Sonic standing over a cliff, you know, looking at the vast world that he's going to explore in this game. And there's a few things to talk about with that, but overall that was pretty much it. And of course, you know, at the very, very end, they show another CGI section. Was well, Sonic about to fight a giant robot or mech or something? And I uploaded my reaction to it. And I just want to give my honest thoughts and opinions, uh, you know, because the reaction, I didn't really give my opinions. I was just kind of like, oh, OK, but I wanted to see gameplay. But my honest thoughts and opinions on everything we saw is that this game looks absolutely beautiful just based off the environments that we were shown in these cinematics. And honestly, it gives me hope that Sega is putting in the work, or Sonic Team specifically is putting in the work and the time and the effort to make this world big and look nice. Now, how alive is it going to be? We don't know yet because we don't have the gameplay. But outside of that, we have descriptions and stuff on uh, news websites that tell us more about the game and even the website. And the website tells us that there's going to be more biomes like deserts and whatnot. And that's going to be cool. And the other big thing is that Ian Flynn will be writing the game. And that's pretty big news because uh, uh, he's pretty beloved by the Sonic comic community. And he uh, seems like he makes good stories and now I feel more motivated to check out some of these Sonic comics and see how this writing is so I can have, you know, a better idea what to expect when it comes to Sonic Frontiers' writing. And someone like me that kind of thinks Sonic stories have just been kind of lame and they haven't really been anything interesting outside of feeling like a kid's cartoon, I feel like this might be interesting to see maybe a bit of effort put into a Sonic story rather than just trying to, you know, make a kid's game. But what is the problem with all of this? The big problem is that we don't know how the game actually plays. We didn't see anything of really the game itself. We saw in-game footage of the world and Sonic standing still, which could be a placeholder model because that is the Sonic Forces model actually, which a lot of people have realized. And we just haven't actually seen anything of the game from this trailer and I don't know when we will. Now some people can take this as Sega is not confident in their game or maybe it can be taken the other way around. Maybe they are so confident in this game that they don't actually want to spoil that much of the experience of this game and they're probably going to drip feed us little bit by little bit. And Sonic Forces' marketing kind of spoiled most of the game because <laughs> if I'm being honest there's not much of game in there. So we kind of saw most of Sonic Forces through the marketing honestly. I feel like almost every single level was shown off in marketing. But I hope they're choosing to take this slow and steady approach with revealing how the game is for the other reason of it being a confidence thing because they don't want to spoil the experience and they really think that what they have is something to best be experienced on your own probably why they're keeping it to a minimalist reveal. But of course that is best case scenario. So this is the problem with Sonic Frontiers. We don't know. We don't know a lot and I don't think the reason really matters whether we know a lot but I think the part that does matter is just that we don't know a lot. So it's really hard to say much about this game. I see a lot of people on the internet that are reacting to Sonic Frontiers in a very negative way and I see a lot of people that are extremely hyped and I don't think it's any problem to feel those kinds of ways about the game but in my opinion it doesn't make much sense going in either direction when we just don't know anything about the game now for the people that are hyped they're they're hyped for the same reason why people are negative about the game based off of speculation premise but there's nothing concrete that you can make a judgment about Sonic Frontiers to say it's going to be amazing or that it's going to be bad the only thing that we can tell is that the game looks pretty 
and it looks honestly it looks interesting to look at but that's also quite subjective some people may think it doesn't look that good but i mean for being honest the game is very detailed and that is something that is just the truth now me personally i i would say i'm more optimistic than i am pessimistic i'd say 60 40 is where i'm at right now 60 percent optimistic 40 percent pessimistic i based off of premise and speculation i i'm hyped for the idea that this can be a good game now does that mean this trailer told me that no but that's kind of the point i'm getting at is a lot of people are basing it off this trailer which shows nothing and I don't really think that's really anything to base it off of. You can be disappointed that they didn't show the gameplay. I think that's the biggest factor here is that they did not show gameplay at all. And I feel like that is the biggest reason to be disappointed about this. Or maybe to some people, this is a tease. Researching the internet, I've noticed that the reception to this game is very, very positive. And honestly, there's barely any dislikes on these reveal trailers that have been uploaded by the Sonic channel, IGN, and etc. And it's just been mostly positive. It seems like Sonic to the outside view has taken a W because of the Game Awards uh, being shown because of the Game Awards showing off the Sonic Movie 2 trailer and Sonic Frontiers. And it just overall looks like a big win. But if I'm being honest, it's looking like an even bigger win for the Sonic Movie 2. The Sonic Movie 2 by Paramount on YouTube is about at 5 million views and I don't think that Frontiers has even broken a million yet on YouTube. But that might be a discussion for another video because multimedia is becoming a big part of Sonic and honestly that's a whole nother can of worms to get into right now. But overall, do I think you should be hyped yet? No, I don't think you should because just in case it doesn't actually live up to what we want to see, You'll be very disappointed likely, or not, depending on how high you value that in your mind. But, in my opinion, I think we just need to wait. And I don't also think you should be so distraught over Sonic, and especially, you know, when nothing was shown of this game. So I feel like there's nothing to be really mad about when it comes to Sonic Frontiers yet. So, all in all, I think that we just need to wait for gameplay. And we need to be on Sega about seeing the game and how it actually functions because that's the most important part of a game is how does it play. But I'm not going to cap to you guys. There's a part of me that is pretty hyped and there's a part of me that's pretty scared. But I just want to see this game do good. And I feel like I kind of have to be the, that guy that has to be like, well, hold on. Even though I myself deep down really, really want to be hyped and kind of am. So I'm just letting you guys know. Hold on, we don't know, Sega could just mess up again because we haven't had a great game in like 10 years that isn't, you know, a 2D game. But it's literally been a decade since we've had a good Sonic game in my opinion, like a really good Sonic game. But anyways, that's going to be it and I'll see you guys in the next one. There's going to be a lot more Frontiers to talk about. I'm probably going to have a lot to do this year. <laughs> we have an entire year of Sonic Frontiers waiting and obviously i'm not going to just be talking about sonic frontiers there's a lot for me to do and i hope you guys are going to be around to see it all but just just in case you miss it hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it but that's going to be it i'll see you guys in the next one